a lot of people are married, but the benefits are outside the marriage. Some of us are given time and energy outside the marriage. But somebody who is laboring with you in your marriage, your husband is the one taking care of you. Your wife is the one cooking and cleaning and making sure that the house is going the way it should. The benefits must start from the house. Amen. Sometimes we have people, helpmates, who are laboring, but somebody else is enjoying but it should be from within service from within the thank you should for your time should be from within somebody outside is thanking you for the time you are spending somebody is thanking you for the cash you are giving somebody is thanking you for the affection you are giving in extreme cases, somebody is thanking you for the sex you are having outside your marital home. Meanwhile, at home, nothing is happening. But somebody is thanking you for good sex outside. So, your spouse is wondering whether you're castrated or there's a problem. Meanwhile, the thank you should be from within the house. Amen. We don't want outside gentility, but home cry. Make sure that all the thank you should start within the house. Where, there's, where you are to give time to your spouse, give it. It is scriptural. Amen. Your husband is out on business. It's not the time for you to be outside somewhere with somebody else. He is laboring for the family. He is sweating for the house. You are outside somewhere else. Your wife is laboring in the house, keeping the children, cooking, cleaning. That is the time that you are texting a girlfriend. Because you have time. There are things that we do and God is not happy with it. Sometimes we think it's enough to pray. Prayer is good, but prayer without character is disaster. Add character to it. Malachi 2.13 says in conclusion, This have ye done again, covering the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping and with crying out, in so much that he regardeth not the offering any more, or receiveth it with good will at your hand. Yet ye say, Wherefore, because the Lord has witness between you and the wife of your youth. Amen. So God is a witness to the marriage. God is a witness in your home. God is a witness to everything you do within that home. So let's be careful how we run our homes. God bless you.